Now, when we give these reports now to a a third part to like the the uh, to our client, let's say, now we have to think about how we're going to present these to our client because we have to pick which reports we want to give. Number one, and number two, now we have multiple periods, so we could have comparative reports that we can add. So remember how we can structure this. We can generate the reports. I'm going to memorize the reports. I'm going to memorize them on a monthly basis. Then I can get into them easily and provide them to the client either by e by emailing them, printing them, which is less common these days, or we can save them as a PDF file and then possibly email them with multiple attachments, but that's still kind of tedious. We could zip them, which I think is a better solution, or we can, uh, we can also create an Excel file. We can also put them on the cloud so that they can access them on a cloud drive. We can make an Excel file and then generate one PDF file from the Excel file or use Excel and Word to create a sophisticated, more sophisticated and customized format. Or if I go to the first tab, we can go down to the reports on the left-hand side. We can use this, this manage reports tool to try to customize our reports. So let's first just group and memorize our reports. I'm gonna go into the custom reports here. Last time we set up the balance sheet report, a summary balance sheet and the balance sheet, standard balance sheet, and then a summary income and, and an income statement in general. So we've got the general reports. Now those reports, if I go to the, let's go to the tab to the right, right click and duplicate, just so you can see where those are generated from if you wanted to pull those up. I went to the, to the uh, reports on the left-hand side. We went into down here, there's the, there's the balance sheet standard, of course. And then, hold on a second here. Let me scroll down a little. There's the summary balance sheet. Now the summary balance sheet is just basically a balance sheet report, but it only has the account types instead of all the detail. So that's a good report to start with. And, uh, and then I customized all the reports by doing our standard, uh, I'm getting rid of the pennies, negative numbers, I'm doing, and I'm, and I'm doing the red numbers and I'm getting rid of the date, time, report basis. So that's my standard formatting that I've done. So that would be the summary report, what it's gonna look like. And then if I go back into the reports, we have of course, uh, the income statement that we put together, the profit and loss, and the summary income statement, I just collapsed some of the, the total lines. So we'll, we'll look a little bit more about them later, at them a little bit more later. But now let's do a couple comparative reports and add those into the mix here. So I'm gonna say, let's say that I want, now that I have two periods, I'm gonna say, all right, well, let's go into like a normal, pro let's do a normal like balance sheet report. And then I'm gonna say, okay, let's see if there's a couple comparative uh, reports that we could make. If I wanted to make a side-by-side -side comparison of the two periods that I have now, I could do this this way. I can go from 01, 01, 23 to 02, 28, 23. And then I could hit the drop down and say that I wanna see it month, a month by month. And again, you could do it week by week. That's more or less, less common. If you had multiple quarters, you can also run one quarter by quarter. And you can also do it year by year if you had multiple years. So you can see how much many more options we have as time passes by just manipulating these reports to have comparative options to them.